Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with you with another video. Um, I'm shooting another beauty shoot. Um, it's all about the skin, it's all about the textures. So I just want to kind of show you how I'm doing it. So yeah, today my main light is going to be beauty dish. Uh, I might actually use a soft box as a fill-in light. I'm going to see um, how it goes. I'm not really sure yet. I don't have the light set up yet, so um, I'll keep you posted. Um, but yeah, if I do that, um, it should be interesting, it should be a bit different. I want the skin to be really, really nice and clear. I want to show all the texture and everything, um, you know, and freckles and stuff like that. So it should be really interesting. I hope you like it. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. prepare for a beauty shoot I usually create a board of some sort um, Pinterest is a really good one to get this stuff done um, because you can pin everything in one place and kind of you know make a board secret if you want or whatever um, it's just a nice way to keep everything organized on your phone and kind of have it ready at the go um, you know for yourself um, I always create a board and add whoever is with me on the shoot so if there's a stylist makeup artist and so on so we can all be on the same page um, if they don't use Pinterest, you could always use WhatsApp or, you know, Facebook group or something and just share the images because it's kind of handy for everybody to know what they're doing. Okay, so this is my setup. I have my little um, laptop here and I'm tethering because I want to see exactly how the photos look. I have my top light on full power and then I have this one as a fill-in on the lower power or lowest power, I should say. So it's one-sixth. And then this one is six. Um, now we have, that's the kind of looks we're going for. So nice and dewy, lovely skin. Get the idea. Yeah, we have our model. Hello. Molly. And we have a little um, board. Um, I don't have a reflector. I lost mine somewhere. Um, so I'm just using this as a kind of little reflection from underneath so the shadows aren't too harsh. But in general, yeah, it looks great. So um, as I said, two lights, main light on full power, fill in the big softbox, fill in on the lowest power, just to kind of fill the shadows a tiny bit. And yeah. very harsh and then this um, soft box is going to soften it out a bit so that's good we did have a little bit of a problem with the light it did overheat so we have a little um, fan going on in here um, just so we can keep going I have my little station here to kind of set up all the or to kind of see what I'm doing it's much better to tether just because you have a better idea of what you're doing you can see the results straight away on the computer you don't have to wait you know to get a, get home and look at the images and so on like you see exactly what's going on so it is much more control and I definitely recommend it and I will definitely start doing this from now on because I have it that much and um, it definitely makes your life much easier so I definitely recommend that um, for my settings I'm on um, f20 160th of a second ISO 100 um, I'm shooting with the Canon macro lens it's the um, 100 mil um, and I have it on 0 0.5 to infinity setting. Um, I'm not on the closest macro because I'm not going super tight, um, but but you know, like it is still quite quite close. So, so yeah, that's what happens when your light overheats. So, casual makeup, yeah? <laughs> I see grain. <laughs> ok, 
Okay, so this is the light setup. Uh, when you sit on the chair where the model sits, this is the first light, that's the main light, and this is the fill light. So you have the main light kind of going straight at you, and then you have the fill light kind of coming from the side, um, filling up the shadows of your face kind of here. Um, this one is the main one. If I turn a bit here, you're going to get this lovely um, shadow on the side of the face, which I really like. So um, I've been doing it with some of the shots where there's like loads of light on this side and then there's like a little triangle um, on this side of the face that is light and then the rest is kind of um, in the shadow which is very very nice. So it just kind of depends how you turn towards the lighting, you know. So you can see that it kind of changes around as I go and then we see if I go back there it's going to be darker so uh, so when you're doing beauty it's important to kind of you know figure out different angles and kind of have a look at what looks best for the given shot um, and then yeah and then just kind of work with that I think Okay, so that's officially a wrap. We just finished. We did um, six looks or seven looks, something like that. So it was a really good day. Um, long but very fruitful. I love the photos. I can't wait to show them to you. Uh, I'm probably going to Photoshop one on my YouTube channel. Um, maybe I'll do like a little vote of like which one do you want to see and so on. So. Yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this behind the scenes. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.